This is Gospel Music Today. We're at the National Quartet Convention in Louisville, Kentucky, and it's a pleasure to be talking to Jason from a new quartet called Driven. Jason, welcome to Gospel Music Today. Well, thank you, Ken. I'm so glad to be on the show. You know, it, here at National Quartet Convention, if you've never got a chance to come out, you, you really ought to come out. And Ken, I know you can tell them the same thing. It's just exciting. All your favorite groups are here, your favorite people, your friends, and, and just uh, great pastors and worship people. It's just a good experience. And so uh, if you guys have never been out, come on out. We have a great time. The atmosphere is so great. It's just the friendliest place uh, you could imagine. It is. It really is. It's just a lot of good people here. And, and you know, no matter who you walk up to, you always get a good smile and a warm hug or a handshake. And it's just really good to know that, that God's people can, can congregate together and, and do something like this in support of gospel music in the churches. And so I, I love it. Now, Jason, tell me about your new group. The new group, uh, of course, you've already said the group is called Driven. We're out of Charlotte, North Carolina, and uh, it consists of um, myself, Jason Funderburg, singing the lead. Uh, Chad Smith is singing the baritone. Alex Woolard, 21-year-old, singing the tenor part. And then um, the bass is sung by Will Lane, 24-year-old. And this yeah, young man's coming along great. To be 24, he's, he's doing a fantastic job. Just proud of all these guys. And um, I'll be honest, uh, if, if somebody were to ask me to explain the group, I guess the only thing I would say is just a... Uh, a group of, of, of brothers that are getting to travel around and, and do what God has called them to do. So far we've seen 107 decisions for Christ since we started. We started touring in uh, the end of February in 2007. So since that day of, of today we've seen 107 decisions. And so that's what we're all about. That's what I want people to recognize or, or uh, associate with Driven when they hear that. With all the nights on the road, it must be very important to keep that in mind. It is because there's so many times that, that I'll be honest, the only thing that has really saved me from just forgetting everything and, and going home and just saying I don't care about it is the fact that, that God runs through my mind the faces of those that, that I have seen raise their hand for salvation or come down to an altar and give their heart and life to Jesus. That's really the only thing that when times are tough that will keep you going. You're right. Now I know that at a young age you have a, a history in gospel music. How did you become involved? Well, I, I guess the, the best way I became involved is my father, Danny Funderburg. He traveled and sang with the Cathedral Quartet for about 10 years. It was, uh, he was a tenor right before Ernie Haas came and uh, so uh, sang some great songs with him. Never thought that I would get in gospel music because I used to watch him leave all the time and would get so upset because I didn't understand why he was doing. But then again, when I seen the lives that were being changed through gospel music, I knew why he done what he done and uh, I knew that that was the calling that God had put on my life without a doubt and so that's pretty much how it happened and then uh, through that I, I started with a group first of all first group I ever sang with was Silent Power uh, then a group called uh, Mercy's Way uh, and then I was with the Anchorman Quartet and now uh, have my own group called Driven uh, with these guys and so that's that's kind of the short short run through of it 31 years old I guess I've been singing um, in venues probably since I was uh, 21 years old so about 10 years now already so I'm I'm just thankful God's kept me where he's kept me. We have some new product here at the booth for uh, Driven. Tell me about that. Sure, we've got our very first CD that's come out called He Will Provide. It's got a lot, so a lot of great songs on it. We've got, um, uh, let's see, He Will Provide first and foremost, It's Enough, uh, Sweet Jesus, Working on a Building. We've done some songs uh, that we had done in a previous group. A lot of people said, you've got to redo this song. And so we redone it and, and kind of put a different twist to it, different things like that. So uh, that's out. We've got uh, our Driven t-shirts we've got that's got our logo on it, different things like like that and we're currently in the studio working on another project right now with Wesley Pritchard uh, of the Gaither series so uh, we're excited to be working with him once again and, and he helped us on the first one he's helping us on this one and he, he's just a he's just a great guy to have on your side I, I love Wesley Jason thank you very much for talking to us on gospel music today well thank you Ken I appreciate that to all the people watching God bless you and if you get a chance like I said come out of National Quartet Convention or look us up on our website www.drivenqt.com now back to more great Southern Gospel music on Gospel Music Today.